Hello friends, welcome back to Talent Tutorials. Uh, in this session, we will try to understand how a filter columns will work. So in my workspace, I have created already one job, standard job uh, with name T filter columns. And I have dragged uh, T delim uh, file input delimited file. Okay, so I have set the properties already. So it is reading the data from employee.txt and the field separator. And also I am uh, supplying the metadata from uh, repository and if you see the file I have uh, one two three four four columns available in my file and if you look at the edit schema also you can see one two three four now filter columns is used to uh, reduce if you want to pass only three and you don't want department number towards the uh, uh, next steps or next components you can use the uh, T filter columns simply so let me drag that component and show you T filter component, T filter columns. Yeah. This is not T filter rows, this is T filter columns. Main. Yeah. So once you select this, you will have a edit schema and sync columns. Just go first hit on sync columns and then edit schema. Now you can see here there are one, two, three, four, right? Okay. Now here you can simply you see here only three columns first employee id name and salary and department number is missing so I, I don't want to pass that to next component so this is how you will use t filter columns if you want to reduce the number of columns required columns you want to select it then just edit schema you go to edit schema and you can change the order as well and you can minimize you sorry you can reduce the number of columns so next step next component we will see in this session replace t replace component okay let's drag that t replace component so t replace component used to you can specify one value uh, which is coming from input and also you can uh, uh, specify replace value with which value you want to replace it okay now if you see i have selected a t replace component and here input column available okay let me add that let me add and when you come to here yeah you see here you can select input columns i'll select in employee name and search for some value and replace with which value you want okay now i'll see here there is a name called ram and i would like to replace that particular name with ram name okay let me run this See here the name it was in the file it is ram but in the execution part you see ram okay, this is how t replace is used to replace input values with your substitution values so hope this session helps you please do subscribe thanks for watching and i will be posting more videos on talent thanks